On paper, the J20 has some advantages while the F22 has others. But practically speaking, as General Kenneth Wilsbuck, commander of the U.S. Air Force in the Pacific, said, I don't think the U.S. Air Force in the Pacific. The don't think the is the dominating aircraft at this point compared to what we have. While China's aerospace industry is undoubtedly making great progress in producing advanced aircraft, the U.S. still has the edge. But what are the strengths of us and Chinese fighters? The J-20 Mighty Dragon is China's fifth-generation answer to the F-22 and F-35. Its rapid pace of development and perceived capabilities give the impression that it is more than a match for the F-22 Raptor, the U.S. Air Force's premier air superiority platform. Here's how the two actually stack up. Reach Reach is an important part of Pacific Theater Operations strategy. The Mighty Dragon dominates this arena, capable of traveling more than 1,000 nautical miles on internal fuel, almost double that of the F-22, which is not capable of 600 nautical miles. But this status quo may soon change as Lockheed Martin is reportedly developing a stealth fuel tank to fit the F-22 that could significantly increase its range. J-20 Performance A number of factors can contribute to an aircraft's performance, but there are three key factors that can explain a lot. Thrust, speed, and ceiling. In all three categories, the J-20 only marginally outperforms the F-22, with some shortcomings. Each W's 15-engine on the Mighty Dragon produces about 1,000 pounds more thrust than the Phone 119 Pratt and Whitney engine on the Raptor. However, the engines on the Chinese jet are still newly developed and have yet to face real challenges or life, cycle wear, and tear. In contrast, the USAF and Lockheed Martin have spent years addressing any shortcomings in the Phone 119 and have solid best practices for maintenance and operation. Airspeed equals energy, which is one of the key concepts of dogfighting, and once again, the J-20 can barely beat the F-22, with a speed of MASH 2.55 compared to the Raptor's MAX 2.0. Both are capable of super cruise, supersonic flight without the use of fuel, intensive afterburners. The final metric is service limit, which can be equated to a significant advantage if one fighter can fly much higher. The J-20 can reportedly reach an altitude of 65,000 feet, while the F-22 reaches an altitude of 50,000 feet. However, the actual numbers are still classified and it is likely that both have comparable maximum limits. On paper, the J-20 has some advantages while the F-22 has others. But practically speaking, as General Kenneth Wilsbach, commander of the U.S. Air Force in the Pacific, said, I don't think the, the J-20 is the dominating aircraft at this point compared to what we have. Although China's aerospace industry is undoubtedly making great progress in producing advanced aircraft, the U.S. still has an edge. This future technology, worth $6,980 trillion.